Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're talking about this 14-in-1 HVAC screwdriver from Klein Tools. We're gonna go over this screwdriver top to bottom, but we're really gonna be talking about how we can make it into the ultimate screwdriver. So, stick with us. All right guys, so Klein Tools is obviously no, uh, no, no newcomer to this area, right? Client tools making quality tools for a long time. A lot of people in pretty much, you know, Sparkies or, or um, even HVAC people are pretty familiar with client tools and most people probably have client tools like linesmen, right? But today we're gonna be talking about this. So, you know, multi-bit screwdrivers and stuff like that aren't, aren't anything new, right? I mean, they've been around for a long time, but every once in a while, you really want just like one screwdriver that you can carry with you to do whatever it is, right? Like, for instance, it, it, uh, an air handler unit that I was working on the other day, like it's behind, uh, it's in the attic and it's behind, or it, it's right next to the edge of a gable end where you're just trying to get to. And it's one of those places where you're probably not gonna wanna take like an entire tool bag with you, right? There are some times where you just think, okay, you're crawling under these weird spaces and you could probably have like two hands, probably Probably carry one light or a headlamp and maybe like one or two tools with you and that's actually where a lot of uh, these tools will really come in okay so this tool right here a 14 in 1 HVAC screwdriver obviously um, it's adjustable it comes with one impact bit we'll drill into it um, but it comes with you know uh, number zero uh, number one number two uh, Phillips head it's got an eighth inch uh, 3 16 quarter inch it's, it's got a bunch of like T uh, or it's got T10 T15 square drive quarter inch um, and 5 16 inch nut drivers and it includes two Schrader valve um, bits okay so none of that stuff is really spectacular right so we're going to go over some of this tool let's bring you in closer and take a better look at it all right so this is the packaging obviously it comes in tells you all the stuff going on it is impact rated and for most of the people wondering this stuff right here is made in taiwan okay it is adjustable we'll go into some of that stuff all right so this is the handle for your screwdriver and obviously if you're using client tools this is a you know pretty standard um handle that you're going to be familiar with it's a lot bigger than your pretty much like standard klein tools um, screwdriver handle it's pretty much um, almost exact size as like the uh, impact flip screwdriver but anyways i will talk into that so you know pretty much standard uh, um, epoxy molding yellow klein and black klein coloring going on here this part is adjustable and that's what they call really mean adjustable right so in order to adjust this you press down this lever or lever right and you can pull this in or out. So you can actually take this entire thing out and put it on like an impact driver, a drill bit or something like that. I would actually put an impact driver, not necessarily a, a chuck because the chuck will actually kind of scar and mar this up a little bit and you probably don't want that because it won't uh, work smoothly, right? So you drop it in right here, right? And you do have to press this in order to pull it out or in. It's not one that's like one that's quick adjust or auto adjustment ones, right? So you drop it in, locks in. And in this case, it doesn't go anywhere, right? You can also have a, another option right there and another option right there. And if you want to work on it, you could say you could use it as a stubby. It's not really a stubby. I mean, if you take a standard length screwdriver like this, right, looking at the... Um, length difference here i mean it's not really a stubby right it just kind of looks like a stubby because you got no shaft going on there right so anyways um let's go ahead and talk about this this shaft right here is three two seven six seven it's h6 it is patent pending okay and like the uh, flip socket that we reviewed the other day um it's got a pretty much uh shaft with these flip socket uh nut um sockets i guess you want to call it um, as you, and you're probably looking at it thinking, okay, well, it's pretty much an exact flip socket shaft. It's really not. Um, we'll, we'll drill into that in just a little bit. But it has a magnet tip right here, and there's a little icon right here that has a little screwdriver bit. The reason for that is because you can use this as a magnetic um, socket driver, right? But if you put it into the right position, they call it like a low um socket or a deep socket position so you put it in like a low socket position you know um, you just use it as a standard nut driver but if you move it up once it becomes a bit holder and that's where these bits come in okay so now let's talk about those bits so the bits are actually stored like most multi-bit screwdrivers in this handle you can really grab it anywhere and pull it up right um, but also on the back here it'll even say when you have it stand like in your pack it'll say 14 in one HVAC but uh, bits are stored here. Um, just trying to look through the crack here, you can kind of see there's a little shaft that comes up and holds this up. So it's pretty sturdy. Uh, it's nothing too um, shabby by any means. But as you can see, it's got star bits, um, square bits, flat bits, um, 
pH2 bits, Schrader bits, and that kind of stuff going on. So it's pretty simple because you know you just take the bit out, you plug it in to wherever you want to use it, right? And then um, if you need to change the bit, you just go back and you know pull a bit out and change the bit, right? So the interesting thing about this here is that because it spins, it kind of also becomes like a pivot point, right? So if you're doing something like this, right, you can kind of hold it right here and it kind of spins. So this actually becomes like a swivel bit. So that's actually interesting, right? So the other thing to point out on here is, right, you can also put it in different positions. So that becomes very interesting. The other thing to talk about here is, so, you know, it's a pretty good 14 in one uh, HVAC screwdriver. You can do a lot of things with it. But as we've already pointed out, this has a lot of similarities with, you know, like a, um, a flip socket, like a seven in one flip socket or something like that, right? And we reviewed that the other day, right? The model number on that one is 32900. So let's go ahead and talk about that. And that's how we can really make the everyday carry or EDC or even an ultimate screwdriver, right? So <clears throat> this right here is a uh, 32900, the Klein Tools Impact flip socket. We've already talked about this. If you look at the handle, you know, handle here size is pretty similar, except on this one. They've obviously extended that for this uh, bit holder functionality. Actually, let's finish talking about this first. So on this one, what I've noticed is that it, it holds the bits pretty well. Um, but one thing I noticed, as you can see right here, these two bits are touching really close. Why does that happen? So when you close this, right, the impact from this stopping actually pulls all the bits down off of... Um, their little bit holder a little bit, right? So they kind of drop down and every once in a while, like you drop it in your toolbox or, or your pouch or whatnot, it's always gonna have like this downward force. So all these bits actually end up touching here. That's what I noticed about that. Um, they haven't really fallen off by any means. Yes, I have dropped it and you know, one got loose in here. Um, but other than that, really haven't had too many issues. It'd be great if you know, they somehow find a way to solve that, but I don't think that's really gonna be realistic considering how physics works, right? Um, so just wanted to point that out. So, uh, like we said, flip socket right here, and you're probably thinking we could probably make this into an even better or an ultimate screwdriver by taking this impact um, flip socket bit uh, configuration thing and then dropping it, you know, in here. So now it becomes, you know, your 14 in one, but you've also added, you know, two additional or four additional sockets if you want to look at it that way, right? All right. Problem with that is, you know, now you have to put it here and it becomes like this. So in order for you to use it in a smaller or shorthand configuration, you can't just, you know, put, push this in and become like a small screwdriver hand. You actually have to take these off and then you can become, you know, pretty much similar to something like that, right? So as you can see here, this is pretty much what this represents um, in a little bit ways here. But as I pointed out, this um, shaft is actually different than this shaft. If you look at it here, um, the grooves are actually in different spots, right, for where it goes. So, and the model number on the impact flip socket is, or this shaft is 32907, and the one that comes with the 14 in one is 32767. Okay, um, so I have played with it a little bit and use it in uh, quiet situations. Um, this has actually been really helpful, especially for like, uh, if you're like a dryer installer, it's actually been really useful because a lot of those clamps are either um, pH two or you can really use this and then uh, handle those clamps. So this is actually really great. And if you're like a dry or dryer installer, I would strongly, highly recommend this because this has been very crucial. And I was actually uh, fixing a dryer the other day. And then, you know, I had to get between the dryer and the washer and, or in, the, in the washing machine. And you actually had to drill this thing, uh, drop it down the some small configuration to get the fin there. So that's been really useful. But anyways, um, I would actually recommend, you know, you get this if you wanted to get something like this and then buy this additional configuration separately. So you can buy um, just this shaft and, you know, these three sockets or six sockets um, for right around $20, right? So this tool right here will go anywhere between $20 and $30. Let's just say it becomes around $25, right? And then you spend an additional $20, you get pretty much this. Sure, you're probably gonna have this left over, but for somewhere close to around 50 bucks, you could really have what you would, what I would consider like an ultimate screwdriver um, for you know this, those rare situations where you do need to you know can only carry like one or two tools with you, this is pretty much something uh, what I would do because now you have all of these um, screwdriver bits in that 14 in one in here, including the Schrader valves, right? And you also have two additional sockets. There has been, um, I've been trying to find a way to make this work uh, or these sockets work on uh, the shaft that it comes on. And it is possible, you can do that, right? 
Um, for some reason, it feels like the sockets or the grooves on here don't like lock in as easily. So you can do this, don't get me wrong, you could do this no problem. Um, but I haven't seen a place where they sell just these impact flip sockets uh, individually. So you're probably gonna have to buy it as a kit anyways, right? So with that being said, um, because the grooves are in the wrong place, or in this case, the not convenient place, it kind of slides around, not in the groove. It's okay because, you know, it's not like super loose by any means and it'll stay there. But, you know, just for that sake, I would prim primarily use um, the impact uh, flip socket shaft. So, um, you know, a lot of people say everyday carry EDC. Um, I personally uh, would not carry this in my pocket all the time. Um, like if I'm going out or something like that, I actually carry a uh, Wira Craft form. It's a smaller one that kind of, you know, sinks all the way and doesn't have any of this, these, but it's a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter duty, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but it's actually been pretty useful kind of carry that almost in my pocket. Uh, anyways, point is that by getting the impact flip socket and combining it with a 14-in-1 HVAC screwdriver, you can really get this ultimate uh, tool. And this is what I'd recommend, like I said, um, it's kind of weird that Klein doesn't sell it like in this configuration because it seems like most um, people using something like this, it would definitely benefit from it. But they actually end up selling this 14 in one in this configuration, right? Um, maybe they thought, you know, if they sell them the other configuration, it may get too pricey. And no one's going to want to pay like $50 or so for a single multi-bit uh, screwdriver, right? So that could be something, right? Um, like I pointed out the other way, um, you know, uh, it gets a little bit long with all that stuff going on, but that's that's what you get. You know, you got to have trade-offs. You can't have only all the pros. So anyways, um, that's something I'd recommend. I hope this video helped you guys out or help you understand a lot of this um, and where it's coming from. I actually really enjoy using this one. I thought right, I really didn't. Um, I don't actually like multi-bit screwdrivers, but in certain situations, um, can't can't thank them enough. So. Hopefully this video's helped you guys out. I'll definitely look into getting this if you can, or if you're an HVAC or anything like that. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, and then we'll see you guys next time.